Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you another Test to Chase on Match with her, the video game video. This video is me talking about the anniversary. Yes, it's been out for a year. And the game is not in the greatest state. But before we get into everything, I just want to say I might get some hate in this video. That's fine. You don't have to agree with me. If you like the game, you can like the game. If you hate the game, you can hate the game. Let's just keep it several in the comments. No throwing hate, no throwing this and that. Just tell them why you like the game, why you don't like the game, and just keep it several. Um, so let's get into it. So the scene in the game right now is not in the greatest. Uh, the last patch uh, kind of broke thousands of things probably. Um, I don't know. It was probably one of the smallest updates they could have put out. There was not a lot of changes, and I don't know simply how they broke so much stuff. But victims are having major issues apparently i'm seeing family does have issues there's lots of bugs lots of dishes just server issues just so much and it took uh tests to the next day the 16th to realize that this is an issue uh they put the update out they dropped the double xp and then the next day they said oh yeah we're hearing some complaints about this and that no, there's thousands of things. There's a list full of things that people are running into. And they want you to report it everything. They want you to go through and test this, test that, and all this and that. But before I keep rambling, I'm going to read what I wrote on Reddit. Uh, because it seems like people are kind of agreeing with what my thoughts are. Um, seeing a lot of people post, I I just commented on one I saw. Um, I try to keep it civil, try to keep it real. So, this is what I said. I should... They should rework the patch and the story. If they are leaving in a broken state like this, I recommend not playing and sporting patches that come out like this. The people still playing are your gas to your keep your game going. And if you are going to treat them like your players as bug testers, then pay them. It's been a year. We still have old buds. Hackers are still running around and it's still nothing to grind for. A horror fan? As a horror fan, they hit the mark. On getting TMC looking just right, they nailed the mark. But as a live service game, they have failed in many different ways. I know I hate get I I know I'll get hate, but I don't care. I'm just keeping it real. And so far, 58 people have liked that post, and that's probably one of my most liked posts that I wrote there. I don't write on there too much, but that's a good amount of people that actually agree with me. And yeah, what I said is. As a horror fan, they nailed Tessus. They nailed the world down. The maps look amazing. The characters are very interesting. I love the lot of the family. There's some things I could change, of course. But I feel like sound design, music, I will praise them to the end of the earth that they nailed TCM. But as a live service game, they have failed many times over. From not having stuff to grind for. Promising things that they said they were working on and never heard of anything again. I know they don't like roadmaps. That's the key factor. Why? But you still say it's on the way and we haven't heard anything about it recently. You keep giving us stuff to buy, which is nice, but it doesn't help expand the game. They That's just constant money coming in, always. Um... There's just bugs still, there's hackers, like I said, and there's many steps they have messed up on, from server lobby times, to server issues, to playing with teammates. Oh, there's just so many name. We're still having a good amount of bugs that pop up, and now we have completely a broken game that... No one really wants to play anymore because it's unenjoyable. I was watching Slash and Cast play and they were having major issues. It, they kind of just, they don't, they weren't saying they hated the game. They just are not enjoying that update. It, it, it's the game not fun to play. I played about an hour. And I was like, that's about as much as I can take of this update. And I, I tried to power through it. I was like, let's keep playing. Let's keep doing it. Try to show support. I want this game to become better, but it's hard to at times. It's really hard as a horror fan and as a content creator to 
keeps reporting this game. It's really hard at times. Like a lot of people think I'm negative. I can be negative, but I also try to keep it real. If I see something, I will say it. I will speak out about it. I will let you know my feelings. I like this game at times. I love Killer Clowns at times. Now, speaking of them reverting, Killer Clowns, a um, couple patches ago, I think it was like 1.3 something. Uh, I'll pop up on the screen. They've dropped it. It has some crash issues, some other issues. So they reverted, like 10 minutes later, they reverted it back um, to the old version while they fixed it. And then it came out and it was fine. That's why I think Tesla should do that. I don't know if it'll actually help or if it makes things worse. I don't know their mechanics. But if clowns can do it, why can't Tesla's do it? And it took them 10 minutes to do that. Now Tesla's is just sitting here. We're going to leave you in this broken state. And we're just going to go through all the bugs and take weeks to get the, the, get the next update out. So you can actually enjoy the game. Yeah, that's not a great way to leave your game. And then they dropped the patch. They said that on the 16th, and now they're gone for the weekend. I know they have off on the weekend, but when your game's not in a good state, you should say, I'm going to suck it up. I'm not going to be a buttercup. I'm going to get our game back into the state we need to. I'm going to be there saying, we're, we're trying to work on reverting a patch. We're dropping a small patch to just... Get it where you can at least see what somewhat playable. No, nothing. And they've done this many times. They did it when Danny came out, when we had all these new people come out, Virginia, all that, and they just wait. It takes like a whole nother week, and then they drop a patch and say, Oh, we're sorry. At some point, you get tired of hearing, I'm sorry, and you don't want to support the game anymore. But I don't want to keep rambling on, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Am I overreacting? I don't think I am. I'm not being crit super critical or ugly about it. But you're allowed to have your thoughts. Uh, leave them down in the comments. Let's keep it servile. And I'll see you guys in the next test this video. Peace. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe.